Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Nick from Rise of Sports, and I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to be breaking down, as you can see on the screen, the well, you can't see it on the screen. It's a tier list, but I'm going to be dragging, breaking down the AFC South today. So let's we'll get right into it. Let's waste no time. So the AFC South, known for the last couple of years as one of the worst divisions in football. <laughs> and it really has been pretty bad. This last year especially was pretty bad. But I'm going to be ranking them, seeing where I think they're going to do, how they're going to do for this season. First, I have the Jacksonville Jaguars. A little interesting for them. I mean, they had a lot of picks this year. Number one, they had the number one pick. They took Trayvon Walker. And that alone um, is going to be interesting because I don't know how he's going to do. People were saying athletically he's the best in the class. And so he's kind of an unproven guy, but I think I think he'll be good for them. Um, he'll make an impact right away. You know, can he be like a Miles Garrett type? We'll see. They brought in Thay Jones. I and Christian Kirk at wide receiver, so they got better there. Um, they brought in Evan Ingram from the Giants, which, you know, that's a good signing as well. They brought in Brandon Scherf, so they brought in some some really good guys. And I just, I don't know, with Trevor Lawrence and this team, they're still developing. I'm going to say they're probably going to win four or five games this year. I just don't see them really improving. I mean, Trevor Lawrence will get better as time goes on. Christian Kirk will help. Trevor Lawrence's development, you know, you have Travis Etienne finally playing this year after getting injured last year. I think the Jaguars are on a good track. I just don't, I think they're too young and not experienced enough with an unexperienced head coach to kind of go anywhere, you know? So I think they're on a four, one team, maybe five. I could see like six or seven if they really get hot, but I would say four or five is probably a good range for them. Now with the Titans, this is interesting because the Titans have, you know, Derrick Henry, obviously they traded away AJ Brown to take Traylon Burks. So AJ Brown got traded away. He's on the Eagles. Now they have Traylon Burks, who is a rookie receiver. They don't have Julio Jones anymore. You know, they brought in Robert Woods from the Rams. They also brought in Austin Hooper, a really good tight end. So Robert Woods will be that go-to guy along with Traylon Burks. But if that's your one and two, to me, that's just a big yikes at the receiving court, to be quite honest. I mean, you just don't have anybody really there. And I guess you're going full Derrick Henry mode, just 400 carries. Like, I don't, <laughs> I just don't know how that's going to work. I mean, your defense still, you know, looks pretty good. They didn't really add anybody notable, like, in, on their defense at all. And so for them, I don't see them doing too hot either. I'm going to say maybe six or seven wins. Just because you're going to play the Jags and the Texans, you know, twice a year, you might get three wins out of that, um, maybe four even. So I think that'll help. But out of that, I just, I don't see them winning very much, many games. I just don't, I don't, I don't understand what they were doing, honestly, uh, trading with AJ Brown. But clearly they thought Traylon Burks will be better long term. But that, that's a tough one. Like, it really is. Like, Trading away talent for potential talent to me doesn't make a whole lot of sense unless you're just rebuilding. But I feel like with Derrick Henry and, you know, Ryan Tannehill, who's not going to be good for very much longer, I feel like you got to go now, and especially in a division where the Colts are still kind of up in the air. It's like, I feel like you got to try to win now. And then you're trading away your best wide receiver, and like a top 10 receiver in the NFL for a potential. Like, I just don't get that. And let me know if y'all think differently, but I just don't get that. Let's go to the Texans now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Texans won't win very many games this year. I'm going to be generous and say two to three. Um, and I think that is generous because Davis Mills, as you know, good as you want to say he was last year. He's he, I don't think he's that guy. I really don't like he was decent last year with, you know, a subpar team, you know, I think your best like addition, you brought in Royce Freeman or Mar Marlon Mack. You, those are rotational guys. And then you have a rookie who people are saying that Damian Pierce is like the guy and he's going to be, you know, your RB one to start out, which I don't know about, you know, and I'm looking at all these signings, like they're all just kind of guys. They're not like studs or anything. And so when you bring in guys that are just okay, 
Yeah, I mean, like, when you look, you, there's nobody there that's any value. They're just kind of fillers that are maybe veteran players. You know, he brought, brought Brandon Cooks, which is good. I don't know why I said that weird. But you brought back Brandon Cooks. That's good. Uh, Nico Collins is going to be your number two receiver, which is another yike. And then your defense is just awful. Like, it is terrible. <laughs> and I, I get they're trying to build it up and, like, they didn't have a pick until the third round this year, and it's just, it's just not looking good for them this year. I'll be quite honest; like it's just not good. <laughs> yeah, so they'll be lucky to win two or three games this year. But for the bright side on this division, it's the Colts. To me, the Colts this year will win eight or nine games, and I think I think that'll win the division. I really think nine wins will probably win the division this year, maybe even eight. They might eat, they might only have to win eight. I could see them jumping up to 10 or 11, but I'm going to say Carson Wentz doesn't do amazing this year. He just does okay. I mean, obviously, or not Carson Wentz, I'm sorry. Matt Ryan. That almost makes me want to jump it up another level, but I, I won't. And the reason why I won't is Jonathan Taylor's a beast. Yeah, Michael Pittman is really good as well. And then Matt Ryan is a veteran. So that helps a lot to have that steady kind of like, okay, we have a st- steady quarterback who's not going to mess anything up. You have a receiver that's breaking out in a good play, and then you have Jonathan Taylor, who is one of the best running backs now in, fan- in, in fantasy football, obviously, but I'm thinking fantasy, that's what I think of, but in real life, also, he's one of the best uh, running backs there. Um, a really good signing you made, you signed stuff on Gilmore. Um, to be in your secondary he's still one of the top corners in the league so you have a lot of really really good players i think this might be a little low i'm, I'm actually i think i'm gonna move it up i think 10 i'm gonna say 10 that's where i think they're gonna be i think they're gonna be at 10 wins this year 10 and 7 um and that's really good you know that's around where they were last year i think they will win this division pretty handily i mean i can see the titans going 6 and 11 and the Jacks going four and thirteen, and the Texans going two and fifteen. This is a bad division this year, like really bad. And I think, you know, the Colts don't have to win that, but I think the Colts potentially could win six games in division. <laughs> and so, if you win six games in division, you don't have to do a whole lot else. You know, you have eleven other games for them to win five of eleven. I think they can do that pretty easily. I might be ranking even this too low. I think they they could potentially get to 12 or 13 wins now that I'm thinking about it, now that Matt Ryan is your quarterback. But I'm going to say right at 10 or 11 wins is where I have them. I think that's around where they'll they'll be. And, I mean, it's not even stuff they did. Like, they brought in Philip Lindsay also. Um, Yannick Ngakwe, the good addition. So I think 10 or 11 wins is probably a good good range for them. Um, Yeah. So if you have any disagreements or agreements, let me know in the comments. It's just kind of my AFC South prediction. I think it's going to be the worst division in football this year. So let me know if you disagree, agree. Um, Let me know what you think in the comments. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the next Rise Up Sports.